Good evening, everybody. It is Friday, May 19th, 2023. My watch says that it is 512 in the afternoon. And the phone says that it is 510 in the afternoon or the evening. Okay, this is part 11 of chapter 2, A Curse of Voodoo, Bound to Lose, Destined to Win. After the witch left, I was asleep one night until I heard a loud noise that sounded like somebody dragging metal across the floor. It had the same effect as hundreds of fingernails being scraped across the blackboard. The worst fear of my life came over me. My brother and I shared a bed, so I was lying next to him, frozen in fear. My head was under the covers. When I peeked from under the covers, a demonic spirit was standing next to my bed and looking down at me. It said, I am here to teach you. Go away, I ordered. Go away. The spirit kept repeating, Go to Darien. You need to learn something in Darien. I did not understand what this spirit was trying to tell me, but later I learned that there are many witch covens in that part of Connecticut. I didn't go to Darien, so the evil spirit taught me what those witches could not. Through all of this involvement with the occult, I had become so possessed by demonic spirits that I could not levitate off the ground. That I could levitate off the ground. I could make my spirit leave my body and travel to another location. Glass would not cut me. On one occasion, a spirit called Pillar Doc came into my room and said, I control the money in the world. Come with me. I want to show you something. This spirit actually took me through a glass window pane and carried me up into some type of vision. He showed me Wall Street, banks, and a golden temple. This spirit said, I can teach you how to rob banks. I can even teach you how to get in and out without being noticed. I can make one person rich and another person poor. Seem, some see me as a mammon. Don't trust God. Trust me. The spirit took me back to my room through the glass window. My reaction was fascination. In those days, I idolized Willie Sutton, the bank robber who could crack a safe and nobody knew how to stop him. At that time, he was still robbing banks. I thought to myself, if this spirit could just show me how to get in the building and come out the other side the cops couldn't get me i entertained the thought briefly but i was still young enough to have fear of being out there all alone robbing banks okay so that is all for part 11 chapter 2 bound to lose destined to win if you like this comment, please like this video and comment below. Thank you for watching.